we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Almighty Father, whatever sinner we believe that you'll forgive, help us to forget the past and to have a new start. You said if we realize we're a man of honor, today by repenting may we receive realizations. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Do you believe in God who helps at dawn? So the Almighty One, Genesis chapter 17, verse 1, because he helps, then your desire should be fulfilled. But the problem is that it, it, you're not receiving it. So life and death depends on your heart, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. So what's your heart? Well, it means whose words do you listen to? So you being ruined and having difficulty, it's because you keep listening to the world, to demons. You may think, oh, I didn't listen to demons. I didn't listen to the world. Everything outside of Christ, it's demon talk. Someone who's not in Christ, they don't have God's promises. So without Christ, it's all curses. You say, oh, I've listened to a sermon. No, that's demon talk. It's the demons. So even shamans read the Bible. Other religions all read it too. So what's different to us? Even though they read it, because they're demons, it's useless. But those who read in Christ, these promises become my Ephesians chapter 2, verse 12. So whose words do I listen to today? So if you have a problem, it's because you listen to demons. Those who belong to evil, so that's filled with lust, it's demonic, it's worldly, it's all the same. It's got it's someone who has all of the world's evil. Because you listen to this, this is why your business doesn't do well, you can't find health, your family doesn't do well, your children don't do well. So whose words am I listening to? Am I going to be ruined or am I going to live? It's one of the two. So these demons who say they're doing forced repentance who don't do well, they say, oh, so-and-so says, is so-and-so God? These idiots who say they're believing in Jesus, looking at what you're doing, you're going to be ruined and you're going to ruin three and four generations. If you don't listen to God's word, you're going to be ruined. You know, you say so-and-so, but is so-and-so God? So John chapter 8, verse 47. So even now, those people who aren't doing well, they listen to demons. They say so-and-so says. Because you're a demon, that's why you listen to that. So you keep listening to things of ruin. Why is it you want to send them to a good school? Why don't you just send them to anywhere? So you want to send them to a good school. But the, what is truly good is God's word. But if you're not in Christ... God's word, you know, if you're not in Christ, you're a fake. Fakes. You can always see they want to boast of their name. They, they, they always make factions. They can't be by themselves. They're not bold. They always want to make to join into a dog pack. And they always, they always, you know, use someone as an excuse and say, they, instead of saying the Bible said, they say so-and-so said. You know, you go to a fake pastor, they always talk like that. They can't be bold because they're evil. And so they're sneaky and they say, so-and-so says. So they use someone else as an excuse. So if you have excuses, reasons, all of those, then you're evil. A saint is only thanksgiving. So let's read John chapter 8, verse 47. He who is of God hears the words of God. For this reason you do not hear them, because you are not of God. Amen. So what ruins you are the world's words, the learning and the philosophy. Those people who talk about philosophy, you see if any of them are right. In the world, you know, which philosopher is right? They can't even live properly by themselves, you know. How, how can they be right? But you want to listen to that. And you, you listen to it thinking it's, you know, good words. Which person's words, which religion has lived properly. Something that's not right, they can't produce what is right. If you look, you see those people are ruined. They say, oh, that person has so much love. If you're not inside of Christ, it's not love, it's all greed. And that's why Isaiah chapter 31 verse 2, if you help the evil after helping them, you'll be ruined. 
If you look at the elections in our country, they're always doing things of ruin. You know, they vote for someone even though they're evil. That's why we're ruined. And we're not and it's not just being ruined, even your children are ruined. So if you're evil after you sin, if you're out if you're living outside of Christ, it doesn't end with evil. Your children all become simple. So the parents seem all smart, they've got they're in some high position. But the children are the worst of idiots and then after that they've turned crazy. That's the that's the promise of the Bible. So you see those children who are crazy. Those ancestors lived so well. But that's not living well, that was evil. Why did they live like that? Because they didn't know Christ. So you and I were all evil. There's no good in the world. 1 John chapter 5, verse 19. That's why the world lies in evil. So what is it we have to do? We have to wash with the blood of Christ to become good. So how thankful is this? Whose words do I listen to? Am I someone who's going to be ruined or someone who's going to succeed? Am I someone who's going to fail or someone who's going to do well? Am I someone who's going to go to hell or go to heaven? Depending on who you listen to, things will change. So let's read John chapter 8, verse 47 again. He who is of God hears the words of God. For this reason you do not hear them, because you are not of God. Amen. So if you don't listen to God's words, then you're evil. Why? Mark chapter 10 verse 18. Because only God is good. So because you don't listen to good words, then you're listening to ruin, which means you're ruined. So God says he'll help at dawn. Is God good or evil? So if you listen to the words of good, then you'll live. But you don't listen to these good words. At dawn, you fall asleep, you yawn, you sit here doing whatever you please. You're not prepared at all to receive God's word. So if you sit there without preparing, then you just you just come to dawn's surface and then just leave. And so God always gives you problems to see whose words you'll listen to, the words of ruin or the words to live. But if a problem happens, you always listen to the ruin. Instead of being able to hear God's voice, you're like, okay, who's the expert? Let's go ask him. Whatever God's showing you and making you hear, it's for you to know. You know someone who doesn't even know how to um, make me- the the meals for themselves, how can they be going out and and working for others? If you don't even know what type of radish to be using, you know, during the autumn, you know, when I see what you, you know, when I see what you cook, and I look at that, you know, you think that's food, but, you know, I w- if you don't know, at least become an employee at a restaurant. And even though you're cursed, even though you don't receive pay, at least learn, but you're neither this, you're neither that. So who is it that hears the Father's voice? What is the Father's voice? It's wisdom, knowledge. He gives everything so he can rule over the world. So why don't you do well? Even though he's giving it to you, you can't receive. You just act as if you know when you don't. Just sit there. If the Bible teaches you, so me being ruined, it's me living by evil. It doesn't just end with me suffering. My children all become idiots, even though they're living in the world. And so if your grandfather lived well, then the then the dad becomes an idiot. And then the grandchildren, they, they become the worst of idiots. And in the end, they turn crazy. You ask the doctors, they say, always within four or five generations, there's someone who's, who is crazy. So they don't know the Bible, but they're saying the Bible is right. So if you look, someone, you know, grows well till 10, 11, and then, and then in their 40s they become crazy and they go into mental hospital. You see these people in their 50s, 60s who turn crazy. So you, I, we're going that way. But if we wash with the blood of Christ and we receive the help at dawn, that gets rid of this and it blocks it for my children. That's why we have to see help this dawn. That's what we've come to receive. This word helps us like this. If you know this, how can you sit here and just fall asleep or just do do it roughly? doesn't just end with ruining myself. Life, you don't even know tomorrow. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 1. So so what do you think is going to happen to me tomorrow? Is there a way to do more well? 
as long as you're in Christ, as long as you receive God's help. But if you listen to the world, then you'll be more ruined. So which way am I going to go? We have to go the way to do well. So then whose words do I listen to? This is where things are going to become different. So 1 John chapter 4, verse 6. Here, we're going to see are we on the side of demons or God. So if you're not doing well, when God sees you, if you listen to God's voice, he solve that problem and you do more well, but you don't listen to God's voice. You keep listening to the world. You keep listening to the demons. You know, in the time of Noah, they all died, but you keep listening to that large number of the demons. Oh, many people say, so you're a demon that's to be ruined. But you don't say anything to that person. You know, if you're listening to the world, then you're someone who's cursed. You don't know if you're going to turn crazy tomorrow. And your children become even more crazy. You'll be completely ruined. Why do you listen to that? So, so you should exhort with love, but you don't. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 13, because we're a fake, because we're becoming a fake church. And that's why you're doing the wrong things. And so God says, if you listen to my word, you'll live. The Red Sea. You know, the Israelites, no matter what they tried, you know, even if they gave up all their money, you know, even if they had one heart, it didn't work. But if they listened to one thing, God's word, they lived. That one word to put out your stuff, they lived. But those demons of the world who grumble and complain, they're so happy when things are good, but, this, you know, then they quick to grumble. Those people, they were useless. It's only Moses who heard his voice. So in your family, if it's just me that listens to God's voice, then you'll live. But at this dawn, you, you know, you don't even do that. What are you doing in the evening? If you repent thoroughly, God makes you know everything and hear everything. But you keep doing other things. And you become a fake who, you know, a, a fake churchgoer and you're just, you're just struggling. You know, with this heat treatment, technology. Do you think I went and learned? This is a recent technology. How do I know about it? Well, when they said heat treatment, I went and find out about it. When you hear it, you don't try to find out. You can't realize because you're a beast that is perishing. So you just listen to the world and you listen to these fake pastors. You know, these men who are scholars, you just want to listen to you know, what they publicize. The things of ruin. The scientists you know, if a hundred or a thousand of them say something, you listen to that, you don't listen to God's voice. And so that's why these fake pastors, they keep talking about those things on the pulpit. You know, yesterday, that's what I was rebuked for by my wife. She said, why? Why are you talking about the hip hypnotism? So, you know, men have done these things and they try to find a way. And so I'm saying, but the Bible, you know, is saying this is the way. So then... And so she's saying, don't even say things like that. So yesterday I didn't even go out and I just stayed and repented. What, what about you? What are you different to a beast that is perished? You don't even know and you don't try to realize. You can't even cook rice. Just because you, you boil some bean sprouts, that's not how you get rid of that, that smell. You know, you don't even know how much you have to... to boil it to make that smell go so then you either overcook it or you undercook it if you just do it once you'll know so so your beasts that are perishing and then you say you've done four step repentance if you do four step repentance how, how how is it that god teaches you like that it's all a lie you're just listening to the world the things of ruin 1 john chapter 4 verse 6 whose words do you listen to that you're on the side of demons? We are from God. He who knows God listens to us. He who is not from God does not listen to us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Amen. You say your business isn't doing well, you're going to be fired from work. You know, if that company leaves a dog pig alone to stay in the company, you know, they're going to be ruined, you know, so you don't want this to happen then no properly which company if you're giving them benefit who's going to fire someone like that 
It's because you're a dog pig who can't realize. Those people, they don't want to come to church. They don't listen to God's word. Someone who doesn't to God's word, you need to fire them. They're opportunists who are only scheming. They're someone who's going to ruin the company and they'll go out and ruin the country. That's the worst of evil. And all they want to do is demonstrate and, and not leave. They just want to gather as a dog pack. So God says he's put the blessings in front of you. And he says those who hear the Father's voice, they'll receive blessings. But those people who don't want, they don't do well, they don't want to come to church. You talk to your husband or your children or your, your parents, they don't want to come. So you will see that bad person is me. If you're one family, you're all the same. So if your children don't want to listen, you have to realize, oh, it's because me, I'm bad. So then I have to repent on behalf of them. But you look at people who don't do well, they're always falling asleep at this time. Those who are cursed, they always fall asleep because they sh they can't hear God's word in order to be ruined. If you're not listening to God's word, then you're on the side of demons. Someone who hears God's voice is on the side of of God. So the things of the world will be ruined. It will make you ruin others and the country. So whose words do you like to listen to? But still, you say you're doing forced step repentance. You look at those people who were ruined. If you listen to what they say, oh, my children say, my husband says, so, so and so says, is that God's voice or the demons? So when you say this dog talk, you know, you're going to be cursed. You're going to eat up your children. Even though you're told so much, you still can't understand. You know, isn't God saying? Whose words do you listen to? So as you go along the street and the road divides and you don't know, if someone teaches you a lie, then you're going to end up going oppositely. You're going to go the way of ruin. You're going to go to hell. So who do you expect to teach you properly? In the world, there's no one. They all teach you for their own profit. In other words, they're using others. It's only God who teaches me rightly. So if you hate to hear God's voice, then you're going the way of ruin. So whose words do you listen to? At this dawn, let's realize and let's listen to the Father. Because if we don't, then we're a beast that is perishing. You know, a beast that is perishing, how much do you think they're going to leave a name behind? Who, Depending on who I listen to, it, it's I'm going to change. So... You look at people who can't have their disease healed, they always listen to the world. You see people whose businesses don't do well, they listen to the world. You look, you see those people who aren't released and whose destiny doesn't change, they always listen to demons, the things of ruin. You know, a beast, why do you listen to the beasts of, that are perishing? Why do you listen to Because you have the same demon inside of you. It's because you're the same. Someone who belongs to God, they don't listen to that. If you did listen to that, then you realize you're outside of God. So whose words am I listening to? If you listen to the Father, what happens? Without me realizing, my actions change. You know, you don't even know how you should be holding on to the handle. You know, if there's, if there's a, if there's a, puncture in the front tire or puncture in the back tire, you don't even know that. So if you don't know, if you at least know the basics, then at least you won't have a car accident. But the way you hold on, it's, you're so arrogant. When I see that, why is it you do the things of ruin? And you don't even know that you're being ruined. Those people always listen to the world. If there's a problem, so there are people who still aren't having their problems solved it's because they listen to the demons to the world. That's why they're not they're not being released. If you listen to the Father, straight away you'll be released. But you don't listen to God. You listen to the world. Why do you come to church? Because you're bored? Because, because they say that you're going to receive blessings? You're a thief. You have to hear God's word and make up mine. That's how you receive blessings. There's two ways to live in this world. You listen to God who saves you or you listen to the world. Does that mean we shouldn't even learn anything about the world and have nothing to do with the world? You know, you use it in order to make the people of the world realize. So whatever you see or hear, you need to find out 
about, about it. That's faith. You know, when I heard about the heat treatment, but you say you have faith, but you don't find out about it. You say, oh, it's nothing to do with me. That's why you're cursed. So what I do, who does it go down to? It goes down to a thousand generations. Why don't you know how to pass down good things? You only pass bad things. And then you say this dog talk, oh, it's not working. So even today, my problems are being solved. The diseases, my my business, my family, my children. If things aren't being released, it's because I'm not listening to the Father's voice. And I'm listening to the world, to demons. And that's why you're ruined. So then we should listen to the Father's words. But if you're not in Christ, you can't hear it. Without Christ, it's curses. It won't work. So if you're in Christ, let's find 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Anyone can do well. So you say you're repenting, but it's only with words. You're not actually repenting. And even if you repent, you go back outside again. It'll work if you're in Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. There's no other way to make you into a new person. After Adam and Eve's corruption, we're all beasts that are perishing. But if you realize and you do force to repentance completely, then in Christ you become a new person. You're able to hear God's voice. Otherwise, you won't be able to hear. At our church, you'll see amongst your neighbors, you ask each other. You know, these mental hospitals, you know, the psychology, you ask them, do you? That you ask the doctors, the scientists, are you doing well? No, they're not. So if they're not, how can they make others do well? And so you know what they say? If you don't even have joy, it's because you're outside of Christ. In Christ, God just gives it. He gives you joy. It's not something I do. If you are a clean vessel, what's it to go inside of Christ? It's to be cleansed. Then then it's the the master who pours, who pours something inside. It's because, so at this dawn, let's receive help. Let's read together. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. Amen. Is this amen? So anyone can do well. When? When you're in Christ. So a sermon without Christ is a fake sermon that's going to send you to hell. Because you don't wash your dish, if you just eat from a dog bowl, then you'll eat. No matter how good God's word is, you'll die. So if you read the Bible without repenting, the Bible will kill you. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 9. But you don't even know this and you wander around church and that's why you receive curses. So do I want to listen to God's voice which saves me or I'm going to listen to the world that makes me ruined we want to listen to God but if you're not inside of Christ you can't hear it because God is in Christ 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 19 so to do forced our repentance to receive help at dawn as long as we confess our sins then we're in Christ it'll make me new so a beast that is perishing becomes a man of honor your diseases are healed your your family problems are solved your children do well You know, your bad spouse relationship, you do well. Your descendants will do well. You become a patriot. We have to receive this, this dawn. This is the help we've come for. So those people who weren't doing well, anyone can do well if you're in Christ because he makes you into a new person. And what is this? It's for free. What do you have to do? There's nothing to do but forced at repentance. So those without forced at repentance, they're fakes. Because they're fakes, they like to listen to fakes. They listen to demons. You need to have Christ to have an answer, but they say these sermons without an answer. You know, if you go to a bath, a restaurant without any food, that's fake. If you go to a bathhouse without any water, that's fake. So this dawn, whose voice am I listening to? You see those people who aren't being released and they're suffering? They say, the world says, well, you'll be cursed. It's you that's ruining your household. Let's not go that way. You know, it's the same as listening to a shaman. You know, if you're listening to the world, then already you're on the side of demons. Quickly repent and go and then become a man of honor. Otherwise, disasters will come. But if we wash with the blood of Christ, it will disappear. Let's put our hands on our heart. All this time, whose words have I listened to? Have I listened to my sister-in-law or my mother-in-law or my own mother? 
Whose words did I listen to? Did I listen to a fake pastor? Did I listen to say, some fake churchgoer? Whose words am I listening to? You know, if you have problems at home because of money, instead of listening to the instead of listening to God's words, you listen to the world. That's why you keep being more ruined. There's two ways in the world, either heaven or hell, to succeed or fail. So whose words am I listening to? Other than God, it'll all make me ruined. But if I'm a fake, I keep liking to listen to the world. And if someone's saying that and you just listen to it, then you're the same. That's gossiping. You should say, you demon. And to save myself and to save them. From today, let's only go the way to receive blessings of having our diseases healed, to get rid of our family troubles, for my children to live, to the way of becoming a patriot. At this dawn, let's receive blessings. To say, I am that filthy person. I am the filthy person. You know, that mother-in-law who's cursing, that's me. My sister-in-law who hates, that's me. That person who's saying bad things, that's mine. Listening to the world, that's me. May we confess this and change it all to blessings. Let's call upon the Lord three times and pray. Lord, 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 Father God, this worst of sinners, that's me, this sinner, After doing this, and then I said, oh, the help at dawn, that's not mine. May we fix it this dawn. 